Well, hey there, folks. I wasn't going to record this, but I'm halfway into it, and I figured I would. So if any of you have one of these wonderful Samsung appliances, you've probably already learned not to buy them again because uh, they're pretty shitty compared to all the other appliance brands out there. In my experience, I'd probably say Samsung's the bottom of the barrel, probably followed by LG. They both make a very, I mean... A very nice looking appliance but they're junk I've had problems with the refrigerator the ice maker with the dishwasher the stove the, the stove's been trouble free the microwave's been fine but anyways so if you got a Samsung uh, they got a cup they got a couple different ones ones of these case break uh, overflow sensor things here but this particular one it uses the design that looks like this. I'm already kind of into it, but what the heck. So what's going on with mine? You'd start it, it'd fill up with water, and then it would instantly drain. And it would do that three or four times in a row. Then it would shut off. And I believe on this one, I believe heavy, I'm not sure, I don't remember. I think it might have been heavy and sanitized. I'm not sure. They would flash. Anyways, it said it had a overflow problem or not enough water flow present. I forget. But anyways, um, I troubleshot it and basically uh, this overflow sensor here is bad. I tried cleaning it and it didn't work. Um no one tells you this on YouTube, but if you have one of these and it's doing that, where it'll fill up with water, it'll drain out, you know, drain into your sink, fill, drain, fill, drain, then those two lights flash. What you can do is you can pull it out. It's pretty easy. Take this panel off with two screws. The panel goes right here. And then that's where this is. Without even pulling this out, you can just undo this plug with the two wires. That bypasses it. And if it works like normal, if everything works, then you know you just have to order this part. This part's like a hundred bucks on Amazon. So with the bypass, it worked fine. But I did want to go ahead and uh, put a new one in there. So I did go ahead and order the new part here. You will have to reuse your old gasket. That goes through into the wash tub. I'll show you that in a minute. But... There's two connections here for a hose. There's two more there. Two wire connections. Pretty straightforward. Um, kind of see how this just sits in there like that. That goes through there. There's a lock ring on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put in. Stand by. All right. So as you can see, we've got all the connections hooked up. The wiring. And I did transfer the uh, gasket. So stand by and we'll go inside the dishwasher. So here we are inside the dishwasher. There's that hole right, uh, right there. As you can see, this will just pass through like that. And then there's that piece down there that we have to put on it. So basically, you just take this. It's kind of hard to do just with me. You take this, you just put it over there. Turn it counterclockwise, it'll lock on. Alright, so I got it back on there. What works for me is you take a pair of needle nose pliers. Put it in there like that. Turn it clockwise. While you're pushing that in with your other hand. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it uh, turn a little bit. It'll lock into place. You'll know it's definitely seated. So now that I have it installed, before I put my dishwasher back in and get everything buttoned up, I'm going to go ahead and run it and make sure it works and there's no leaks. And if everything's good, then I'll go ahead and put the cover on the side. I'll push the dishwasher back in, I'll screw it back in, and uh, I'll button everything up. So let's go ahead and give it a test run. I had to slide my dishwasher in just a tiny bit so my electrical cord could plug into the outlet under there. It was a little tight. 
but I'll still be able to see what's going on. So now that I got that in there, let's go ahead and turn that on. Normal, sanitize, start. We'll see how it operates. So that's the pump. It's draining any water that's in there. It always starts by doing that. Next, it should fill it up. And I just want to check for leaks. Try to go ahead and turn the light on there. Isn't that something how this works with all these passages and everything? Okay, we're going to start filling up now. You can see it filling up. Now when it puts water in, this little wheel here turns. It's letting the, the control panel know that, you have, that we have water flow. And this here is the overflow switch. I'm going to keep an eye out on that too. I also want to make sure we don't have any leaks from any of these connections before we put it away. Yeah, I believe this is called a case brake and an overflow sensor all in one. Some of your Samsung dishwashers, this overflow sensor will be a separate piece that, that snaps on. This unit, it's, it's all in one. You can see that filling up there. Okay. Stopped. Now if it runs, you know everything's good. And it is. This dishwasher has been successfully repaired. It's working. Um, if it started to drain out immediately, then you have a problem with that overflow or the water sensor level thing, the wheel there. Want to make sure we don't have any leaks. This one here, you might be asking yourself, it doesn't look like it's all the way up. That's as high as that one goes. It's fully seated. Don't see any leaks. Everything looks good. So this dishwasher has definitely been repaired. You can find this part, folks. Just, uh, Take your dishwasher uh, model number, you'll, you open the door, you'll find it inside the door here. Just Google that, you'll find these for sale on Amazon, eBay. I got mine on Amazon, just in case there's a problem, I could return it. Alright folks, hope this helps someone out.